Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, how to mono your low end. In one of my recent videos, someone left a comment asking how can we take low frequency information and ensure that it is set to mono? Because sometimes when we're working with software synthesizers, there might be some movement going on in the entire frequency spectrum, and you want to make sure that your low end is mono. But we're going to restrict ourselves to only stock plugins, so let's dive into the DAW and take a look at how to mono our low end. So here's a session that I put together real quick just for you guys for this video. And first, before we get into it, I want to show you what we're talking about. In pretty much every plugin alliance plugin, or a lot of them, and right here I just have the AMAC 200 EQ, plugin alliance and the guys over at Brainworks have this knob right here, the mono maker. And with this, you can roll it up and anything below your target frequency here, your cutoff frequency, it will summit to mono, no matter what else is happening within the signal. If there's movement going on, anything below this cutoff is going to be put to mono. And a lot of people will do this. They want to ensure that their low end is just coming out as mono. Yes, you can hear low end in stereo, but you have to have a tuned room, you have to have optimal speaker placement. So a lot of the times we just take our low end and we set it to mono because maybe you only have one subwoofer or you don't have any subwoofer and you don't need that low frequency moving around in the spectrum anyway. So the guys over at Plugin Alliance have put this into a lot of their plugins, but Maybe you don't have Plugin Alliance plugins and you just want to do this yourself. Let's use stock plugins. I'm going to get rid of this because we don't need it anymore. I was just showing you as an example. There's two plugins that you'll need. And this is going to be really easy for the pro users. And the person who had left the comment did say that they were using the pro version of Studio One. So what we're going to be messing around with is this synth bass that I have going on right here. I'm just going to solo it out real quick. And if you're on a mobile device, throw some headphones in and come back because there is some movement in the low end of this instrument. It's part of the preset that I pulled open and it's from Arturia and the pigments synthesizer. So there's a lot going on here. Let me see if I can make this window bigger. There we go. So there's a lot of movement going on. The oscillators are doing their things. There is some movement in this synth. So let's take a listen to our bass without summing the low end. And I don't know if you can see it here, but the width of all three oscillators is varying over time. So it's definitely moving around. And if you want, what we can do is I'll throw a Pro EQ on here real quick to just roll off all of our top end and just listen to the low end. Again, if you're on a mobile device or something with small speakers, even like a laptop, you probably are going to have difficulty hearing this. You're going to want to throw headphones in. I'm going to make this real steep. So we're only listening to our low end and we'll do this from sure 400 Hertz. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off because I want to show you how to make sure that your low end is mono. When you're in the pro version of studio one, you're going to go into your inserts and you can do it from here now. And that's throw in a splitter. With the splitter, what we're going to do is make an exact copy of our signal. But we're going to change the mode of the splitter. Instead of it being normal, and we're not going to do channel because we don't need to split our left and right, we're going to do a frequency split. And we're going to set our target frequency with this control down here. And I'm going to do the same thing, 400 hertz. You can adjust to your productions, but I'm just going to go with 400 for now because that's what we used in our Pro EQ. Now you need the other stock plugin, which you can do by going to inserts and then looking for dual pan. Throw dual pan on, but only put it on the left side. 
So the splitter is taking all of our information in, and it is frequency splitting that information to the two sides of the splitter. All of the low end, everything from 400 and below is coming out the left-hand side, and everything above 400 is coming out the right. So if we mute just the right-hand side, we're going to hear the same thing like we heard with Pro EQ. Listen. is just our super lows. And if we bring this back in, we'll hear the top end and the attack of the bass. So we only want to affect our low end. So we put dual pan on the left hand side here. Then go into dual pan. And here's where it gets real easy. Link them and change your width to 0%. This sums it to mono. And with it panned in the center, after it sums back together after the splitter, you have a mono low end. Listen. There's some of you out there who don't believe me, or maybe you don't hear it, or maybe you didn't listen and you didn't put headphones in. That's fine. I can visually prove it to you. And we shouldn't be mixing with our eyes, at least not all of the time. But this time we're going to. Look at my mix bus here. I'm gonna turn dual pan off, hit play, and we're only listening to our low end. We have the, the high end of our bass muted. Watch the mix bus and the meters here you'll see them dance around. And then we'll put dual pan back on and it'll slap to mono. So there, now we've visually proven that our low end is now mono. It is coming out the center. And you don't have to only do this on a bass instrument. You can do this on an entire mix bus if that's something you want to do. Maybe you have a very similar setup like me, and you could do the same exact thing. I can take a splitter and just bring it on to my mix bus. And I'm going to put my compressor after all of this. Come on, compressor. There you go. So we have our splitter. We're going to do the same thing. Frequency split. Let's go with 200 hertz this time. I just want my super lows to be mono. I'm not worried about the bass anymore. I just want my super lows. And then we'll do the same thing. Dual pan. Put it only on those low frequencies. And we'll go into adjust. Link them and put them to 0% and making sure that they're panned in the center. Now, like we saw before, all of our signals are gonna come in, the low frequencies are gonna go through dual pan, some to mono, and then join back together with our top end, which is coming out the other side of the splitter, and all of that is going to feed my mix compressor. So let me take this out of solo, and we'll take a listen here. I'm going to go ahead and take that same chain off of our bass because I want you to see that it will happen on our mix bus as well. The low end of the bass will now move around and we're going to sum it to mono on our mix bus. Here's our setup again.
So there it is. With two plugins and really one plugin and a splitter, you can take your low frequency information and force it to be mono if that's something that you need to do for your productions. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For booking information, visit timflansbaum.com. And just like for this video, if you have any questions, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.